are in. This time, I'm going to imagine that I have a magnet in my chest. And he has a knife sticking out of his hand. And that's a magnet also. And he is drawing that towards my stomach. Okay? So two magnets drawing towards each other. I can only hold this back for so long before I'm going to eat that. Okay? So like a matador or a quarterback, so I'm not trying not to get sacked. As this comes forward, I'm turning. And I'm getting the Russian. Okay? And I want nice high grip on the shoulder. You can have a variety of grips, it's up to you. If you wrestled your whole life and you want to do this, go ahead and do it. Understand that there's nothing blocking between that weapon and your face if it comes up. If you're gonna do something like this, I would prefer over the top and down, okay? This is a little more secure. Or you can just cup, I'll just go around, cup it like this, okay? And now I'm rolling it back against my body, my head's in here, and now when he tries to stab, it's a lot harder. Okay. And we're going to get into hand switches, so don't worry about that right now. What, what if he just switches hands? We're going to cover it. Right now, we're just working with one side. He reaches um, to my head, and he might be trying to... Actually, you get me the Russian. Maybe this guy is just waving around. Maybe this guy is hitting you. Maybe this guy is grabbing your hoodie and pulling over your head, stuff in your head. Maybe this... Who knows? Switching hands, which we'll get into. Okay? But what I don't like is I don't like his head here. And I'm like, oh, I don't like that. Even a lay person that knows nothing realizes that this is in my way. So this hand is going to post on the hand, head. And I'm going to drive his head away as I rip start the lawnmower. And rip the knife away, okay? So we're here. I place my hand on his head. I switch my feet. I push his head away. And I rip start the lawnmower. Everybody see that? That's what I want to do, okay? So that's what I want you to do to me. So we're here. He doesn't like that, I'm here. He goes to post and push my head up with me. I'm right back in there again, okay? So every time, post from this side, here. Every time he pushes my head, I come back in here. And every time he drives towards me, I'm here. Pushes my head, back here. Drives towards me, I'm here. Push my head, back here. Pushes towards me, get the idea? And we have nowhere to go. How do we I don't know, control this weapon long enough to sustain as little damage as we can till we can get to a better position to deploy our gun? Because if I'm here, the question somebody asked around here was, why not destroy your gun here? Now he grabs my, no, grab on him. Oh, that's good. Now we, have, we each have a knife and a gun, okay? And now he's controlling this. It becomes, it becomes a very tough situation, okay? If they're stronger than you, more athletic than you, you have a feet an angle, which Chad always talk about. Get an angle. This is not a good place to draw my gun. Okay? I want to draw my gun from a better position. Okay? So I'm here. He starts to push my head. He starts to grab, push towards me. I'm back to here. He starts to push my head. I'm back to here. He starts to thrust towards me. I'm back to here. Raising up. Let's just do it again. It's